Breaking news, Mikey Garcia is rumored to be paid $3 million. Al Heyman, his advisor, and uh, the PBC, they want Mikey Garcia to stay away from HBO and ESPN, according to rumors and sources. $3 million? I heard Earl Spence was paid 2.5, wasn't he? Or 3.5. Wow, these guys are getting a lot. And he's fighting Sergey Lipinus. I wonder how much Sergey Lipinus is making. I mean, Marky Garcia making $3 million is a lot of money just to fight Sergey Lipinus, who's really just making a name for himself. Won a vacant belt. Uh, Crawford uh, left. But uh, hats off to Mikey Garcia. I already made a prediction for this fight. Um, I believe Mike Garcia is going to stop Sergey Lipinus. Sergey Lipinus is just really starting to make a name. Um, he's 13 0. He hasn't really fought too much top competition. He hasn't fought anybody really notable. He, he lacks that experience. He has a belt too early. Um, he was Crawford mandatory, but Crawford vacated all the belts and moved up to fight bigger guys and better guys. There's two sides to his story. Um, some say Mikey Garcia is trying to duck Vasily Machenko by uh, only fighting PBC fighters. Others say Bob Arum is trying to keep Vasily Machenko away from Mikey Garcia so that fight may never happen. Mikey Garcia wants to fight. Vasily Machenko wants to fight. The fans wants to see the fight. They're the same height. They're about the same size. Let's see the fight. I predict if Vasil Lomachenko versus fight Mikey Garcia, it's a 50-50 fight. Both fighters uh, are good fighters, very skillful fighter. The difference is Mikey Garcia is a knockout artist. It's a possibility he could stop Vasil Lomachenko, uh, but we'll have to see. I, I won't know who to pick, even though I would lean a little bit towards Vasil Lomachenko because he throws a lot of punches. Mikey also throws a lot of punches, but... I will lean slightly towards Lomachenko because of his extraordinary skill, but I still believe it's a 50-50 fight. Anybody can win that fight. I don't know who would truly win that fight, but if I was a bad man, I would lean a little bit towards Lomachenko, but I would have to go back and watch film on Mikey Garcia. But this is what Mikey Garcia really wants to do. Mikey Garcia, um, he wants to fight Sergey Lipinus, then Linares, then he made a dumb move by saying he wanted to fight Earl Spence. Uh, that's not a fight people want you to see. People want to see because people care about you, Mikey. We don't want you to go up two weight classes to fight the dangerous Earl Spence, who a lot of people believe and believe should be fighting at, at least 160 two weight classes above what he's fighting at right now. So we don't want to see that. We don't want to see Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. We want to see Mikey Garcia versus Lomachenko. You know, if Mikey Garcia fought Earl Spence, it wouldn't be a fair fight. I, I like to see fair fights in boxing. Uh, unless Mikey Garcia can really groom into 147, he shouldn't fight Earl Spence right away. Unless he can groom into 147 by continuing to keep moving up in weight. But right now, that's not a good fight. But Mikey Garcia making three million for uh, Sergey Lipinus is, is incredible. You know that's that's a great move by Al Heyman to try to keep uh, Mike Garcia on their end. You know keeping him away from a uh, top rank. We all know uh, Mike Garcia got out the dispute with a uh, top rank. Top rank used to be Bob Arum used to be his promoter, but that didn't work out. A lot of big name boxers left Bob Arum, the likes of Mayweather and uh, Oscar De La Hoya. And both guys started their own company once they left Bob Arum. <laughs> you know, Bob Arum be stealing these guys' money and trying to lock them in like a crazy deal. And uh, once these guys leave Bob Arum and their career take off, a lot of people want Terrence Crawford to leave Bob Arum. 
at the end of the day, this is what I would like to see. I would like to see Mikey Garcia fight uh, Sergey Lipinus, which I believe he'll beat Sergey Lipinus either by unanimous decision or a knockout. But I, I predict a knockout. Mikey Garcia is just too much of a volume puncher to not go in there and knock Sergey Lipinus out, even though 140 is not his the weight class he's fighting at right now. But I still he can still think he can go up there and knock Lipinus out. He beat Adrian Brona at 140. Then I would like to see Mikey Garcia come down to 135 and fight Jorge Linares, which I believe would be a good fight. Jorge Linares is a little bit taller than Mikey Garcia. He's 5'8", but I see Mikey Garcia stopping uh, Jorge Linares. Uh, I see Mikey Garcia getting the KO because he throws a lot of punches as well. Um, versus the Adrian Broner, Mikey Garcia shows some new part of his game. He's a vicious body puncher as well. Slow AB down with those body punches. So after Mikey Garcia beats Sergey Lipinus and comes down in weight and beats Jorge Linares, I would like to see Mikey Garcia try to fight either a Robert Easter Jr. or fight Lomachenko, man. It's, Lomachenko's already rumored to fight Ray Beltran. So I would like to see Mikey Garcia fight those two fights and then fight Vasil Lomachenko for the super fight. Or if he can't get there, Robert Easter Jr.